Thank you for joining me on Sunny Days with Dawn. I'm hoping to help others learn how to use a Costway washing machine. Okay, folks, today is laundry day, and many people have been asking me how to use um, the small Costway mini washer that you use when you live in a small house or a small apartment. And I live in a, a small apartment with no washing facilities. So my neighbor gave me a Costway washer. And since many people have been asking how it works, and when I first got it, because it was a gift, it didn't come with any instructions. And I had went on YouTube to look for um, instructions on how to use it, and there weren't any. I saw one video of um, a young lady showing how to use it in her motor, her motor home that she lived in. So anyways, <laughs> I thought I'd do a public service and show you how I use my Costway washer. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, I keep the washing machine in my bathtub because it's light enough to pick up and out. Um, so I just pick it up and put it out here when I go to take a bath. Um, I don't know, you know where you, you would want to keep yours, but that's where I keep mine. So here it is right here. I wanted to show you how light it is to pick up before um, I get it filled with water. So I want to show you how light it is. <laughs> I just pick it up and I set it um, right here. <laughs> it reminds me of like a, a Barbie doll washer. Okay, so let's put it back in the tub. It does come with a, a three prong plug. And I don't have a three prong outlet in here. The only outlet I have is a little one um, up on my light. This is a very old um, apartment. It was built in like the 1950s. So I keep my extension cord inside the machine because I need it to reach as far as the bedroom. So then I go plug it in in the bedroom so let me do that momentito okay the first thing i want to show you is how i hooked up the water to put into the washing machine it does come with a, a water inlet hose on it which to me is ridiculous there's no adapter or anything for it so what i used to have to do is push the um, washing machine close to here and i would have to take this off hold the hose there the whole time while I was filling up the washer. And that was just, I mean, I was happy to do it at the time because prior to that I was washing clothes by hand or going to the laundromat. So it was like seven years of laundromat and then washing them by hand, um, <laughs> that was better than nothing. But what I found was this adapter at Home Depot and you just, screw you take your your shower head off you put the adapter on and then you put your shower head back on but this is what the adapter does it just pops off when you want to use the shower and then when you want to use the sprayer you just put it back on there it just pops back on there so what I do is I take this sprayer whoops the bathtub got a little wet I got a little slippery <laughs> And I put it um, inside the bathtub, I mean the um, washing machine. So let me rearrange um, the camera so I can show you how I fill it up. Okay, so I already set the shower to the temperature of the water that I want. I want warm because I'm gonna do my um, sheet set. I wanted to show you that it does a whole um, queen size sheet set. So let me put my Laundry detergent in. Turn the water on. I just use the sprayer. And one thing you want to make sure, which I didn't check, was that your drain is closed. My drain was open. Because the last time I had used it, I was letting the water out. So always check, you have a drain here that you have to um, open or close. So to fill this up, I'm just going to put in um, 
my sheet set. That was the bottom sheet, two pillowcases, and the top sheet. It all fits in there. I'm not gonna my laundry basket over over here. So instead of having to stand here and hold this, I just push it in here and uh, shut the lid down. Let's see. It does. It won't shut all the way. But I know that for a full load, it takes about five minutes. So I can walk away and go do something else. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do right now is go do something else while it's filling up and then I'll be back to show you the rest. Okay, I wanted to I wanted to show you a close-up of that um, configuration. This is the part that I um, screwed on here. This all came together. This was the original right here. So this, all this is the adapter that I bought. And here it is filling up. This was the drain I was talking about. Um, right here, you turn it this way to drain it. I have no idea what this soft and normal is. Oh, maybe that's for the agitation of the washer. Like I said, uh, my neighbor gave this to me, so it didn't come with any instructions. And here's the timer for um, your washing set if you want it to run for, I can't read that without glasses. I think it says, oh, three minutes, six minutes, nine minutes. I usually do um, about six. Let's see, wash time right here. Soft, normal, ooh, now that I know about that. And then here's your spin. This side is a spinner and your timer for the spinner. So we'll get to that after this load is done. But here it is filling up with water. You can't see through there. Oh. The water is going in. So we have a few minutes while this fills up. Ah, I can't hold the camera and let this go at the same time. <laughs> I've had many accidents that way. Oh, I've had many accidents of that flying out until I figured out how to do it just right. Okay, since it's laundry day, I wanted to wash um, the cases on these pillows. So I wanted to show you a little hack that I did with them. These were my daughter's um, couch pillows that um, she gave me. She also gave me the couch. And these aren't the color of the pillows, but this is the color that I was wanting, either a blue or a green to match my interior. So I kept looking for material thinking, oh man, maybe I can figure out how to make my own um, covers for the pillows. And then I was looking at my pillowcases and I'm like, that's the exact color that I want to cover my pillows with. So what did I do? I put it inside the pillowcase, flipped it over kind of like a letter, and then I just safety pinned it on there. <laughs> to me, this was like an ingenious idea. Not ingenious, because I'm sure a lot of people have thought of it. So it's the exact color that I wanted and voila! <laughs> so I was gonna take them off because I wanted to wash them, which uh, I just thought, oh, you know, maybe someone else would appreciate how to do that in case they were dealing with the same issue um, that I was having. So I'm just gonna pop them off in here. And this is, it's a regular size pillowcase. And I'll show you what the pillows look like. <laughs> there was that, which is okay, I guess, you know, if that's the color of your interior. But I wanted more um, blues and greens. 
So I'm just gonna pop them off and wash them. I'll probably put um, another, a different pillowcase on there while these are getting washed. So I just thought I would show you that life hack. <laughs> oh, I forgot about my water in the washer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, I've been telling myself to get a timer, a little timer that I can set. So I don't forget to come back and check my water. But all's not lost because it was in the tub. So what it does, if you um, forget, it'll fill up the drain tube, the drainage hose. And then that's what the water was pouring out of, was the drainage hose. So I guess it's ready to show you. You just turn it on. I'm going to put it on six minutes. And it's going to start agitating. Can you see it? <laughs> it's getting agitated. <laughs> I'll show you a close up. Let me teach him. And that's a whole sheet set. And it agitates really good. And sometimes what I do. Just to help it along, I'll come and push it down and maybe pull other parts up to make sure it all gets agitated. I mean, you don't have to do that, but sometimes that's what I do. So here it is in action. Pretty good, I'd say. All right. Woo! I'm glad I didn't have too big of an accident. All right, the washing, washing, the washing part is done. So what you do is you take the drainage hose, you empty it out. It's full of water right now because of my oopsie. That's where all the extra water, when I filled it up too far, went. And then you turn it to drain. And then you let it all drain out. And so then after it drains out, we're going to fill it back up and do our rinse cycle. But this is the next step, the drainage. All right, it's all drained out. So you put the drainage hose back on this little hook right there. Make sure you close the drain. I've done this oopsie so many times. And then you go through the same process of filling it back up with water. And then however long you want your rinse cycle to go, you would put the timer on that. So it's the same process as washing, except we're not going to use soap. So I'm just going to fill it up with water now. Okay, so the rinse cycle's done. I know like when you have a regular washing machine, you can um, have the choice of doing two rinse cycles. I only do one um, for one thing to save time. For another, we're in the middle of a drought. So what I do with my rinse water, because um, it's still clean, I'm gonna show you how well the spin dryer works. It has um, this little thing that you put on top of the laundry when you put it in the spin side. And my hair's getting caught. So um, it doesn't come up and over and get caught inside of here. So you put this on top, but I'll show you that when I get ready. So I want to show you how well this spin cycle works. I'm taking this straight out of the dripping water. So, I mean, if you want, you can, you would drain this, let all the water drain out and then um, put it over in the spin cycle. But because I'm going to reuse the water, I have cold water in there for um, my rinse. And then the next load of laundry is dark clothes. So I'm going to use cold water anyways. So I just want to show you how well this works. Ah, I have the fitted sheet and two pillowcases in there. Then you pop this on top, on top of the clothes. Let me give you a close up of it. Momentito. Okay, so I put one queen size fitted sheet in here and two pillowcases. And then you put this on top. <laughs> it's hard to look through the camera and do this. So.
so your clothing doesn't come up around the edge here and get caught. And while this is spinning, I usually am starting my other load um, in this side already. I take everything out and just lay it in the bathtub and start my second load just to save time. But here's the spin. Usually one in, about one and a half minutes work. And it helps leaving the washer side with water in it because when it's empty, the washer likes to scoot. <laughs> It'll scoot its way down over here. So having the water still in the washing side helps it to stay in place. And it doesn't do the jitterbug. Okay, so our timer is almost done. I only put it on a minute and a half. I want to show you how well it works. You saw that we put it in dripping wet. Okay. Let's pop this on. Voila. No drips. <laughs> so I can put it over here in the laundry basket. Not dripping at all. Very dry. Pillowcases. No drips. Awesome spinner. No drips. <laughs> Okay, so we did the um, fitted sheet and the pillowcases, and then I have the top sheet left. Just pop it over here. And if this does get off balance, which it will, you just um, move the clothing around inside the linen. <laughs> okay, so since I still have water over here, I'm going to go ahead and start another load of laundry. Let me put some soap in there. This is called living on the cheap, living in a drought, <laughs> and conserving water. I don't want to fill it up too full because then it doesn't agitate well. So almost a complete load as to what I would put in um, a normal size washing machine. I think that's enough. I need to add a little bit more water to this side. This one's still a little bit drippy. I think I'm going to do it again. I've never had that happen before. Maybe because I forgot to tip with the drain down, the drainage shows. When you're spinning, you want to put the draining hose down so the water will go um, out. I think that's what happened. The water has nowhere to go. So let's try that again for one minute. I think wanted to shimmy me down this way. <laughs> Normally you would have um, the drain open too, 
Um, but I don't want to drain open because I'm actually filling this up with water. It does have a good braking system if you lift this up before it's done spinning. It'll shut off. No, no drips. All right. <laughs> First load of laundry done, woohoo! So, how do you like that Costway washing machine? I love it! Thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on Sunny Days with Dawn. I hope you liked this video. If so, like and subscribe.